Welcome. Learn about CFIATING Gene Expert Systems Coronavirus Diagnostic Test in 45 Minutes. CFIATING said in a statement it had received an emergency use authorization from the FDA for the test, which will be used primarily in hospitals and emergency rooms. The diagnostic test for the virus that causes COVID-19 has been designed to operate on any of CFIAD's more than 23,000 automated gene expert systems globally. The systems do not require users to have specialty training to perform testing and are capable of running around the clock. CFIAD Inc. is an American molecular diagnostics company that develops, manufactures, and markets fully integrated systems for testing in the clinical market and for application in its original non-clinical market. The company's systems enable rapid, sophisticated molecular testing for organisms and genetic-based diseases by automating otherwise complex manual laboratory procedures. It was the winner of 2006 Industrial Design Excellence Awards for its product, Reagent Bead Dispenser. It won the federal contract by MRSA Reagent Test Kits in 2012. One of the company's customers is the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Danaher Corporation acquired CFIAT on November 4, 2016. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has approved the first rapid coronavirus diagnostic test, with a detection time of about 45 minutes. The test's developer, California-based molecular diagnostics company CFIAT, Founding and Incorporation CFIAD was founded in March 1996 by Thomas Gutschel, Bill McMillan, Dr. Kurt Peterson, Dr. Greg Kovacs, Stephen Young, and Dr. Alan Northrup. The initial public offering was June 21, 2000 at $6 per share. CFIAD stock is traded on the NASDAQ Global Market System under the ticker symbol CPHD. The company's first CEO was Tom Gutschel, who held the position from 1996 to 2002. In April 2002, John Bishop was appointed CEO. Background The company was thrust into the limelight after the 2001 anthrax attacks as one of the few companies producing rapid, accurate biodetection field units based on DNA analysis. CFIAT had developed unique improvements on Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory's fast cycling technique for preparing DNA samples. Federal agencies used CFIAT machines to detect the spreading anthrax contamination and identify its possible sources. The company put a temporary hold on some healthcare development to work with leading defense contractor, Northrop Grumman on a government contract to install anthrax detection systems at post office sites nationwide. As of March 31, 2014, CFIAD markets 14 U.S. Food and Drug Administration cleared clinical IVD tests in the U.S. and 16 CE-IVD tests internationally and has placed 6,012 gene expert systems globally. On December 6, 2013, Trade Idea LLC identified the company as a new lifetime high candidate for its stock performance. The company currently offers clinical tests in the areas of healthcare associated infections, critical infectious diseases, sexual health, and oncology slash genetics. As of March 2014, the company has a market capitalization of $3.14 billion and an enterprise value of $2.91 billion. On September 6, 2016 CFIAT agreed to be acquired by Danaher Corp. The acquisition was completed on November 4, 2016. GenExpert System the Gene Expert system is a system to combine on board sample preparation with real time PCR amplification and detection functions for fully integrated and automated nucleic acid analysis. To minimize contamination risks, it is a closed, self contained platform. 
The first clinical application for the Gene Expert system was introduced in 2006 with the US FDA clearance of Expert GBS, a rapid molecular diagnostic test for Group B Streptococcus in expectant women. That same year, Expert GBS was categorized by the FDA as moderate complexity under the Clinical Laboratory Improvement Amendments. It was the first amplified molecular diagnostic test using real-time PCR to receive this categorization. This allowed the test to be performed by the over 27,000 institutions registered for CLIMA moderate complexity in addition to the approximately 7,000 institutions registered for high complexity tests. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.